Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Vanessa Veronica. Thank you for stopping by today's look, if you can see it. It is a quick and easy get ready with me type of just gotta get out the door, put together, wide awake, natural, easy, simple makeup look. I didn't go in with the highlighter, the blush, the contour, the bronzer. I left all that out. This is mostly just kind of like a, hey, you gotta call in 10 minutes and I wanna go X, Y, and Z place. Do you wanna come type of look? You know, just to kind of be more awake, more refreshed. So if you're curious on how I got here, stick along and let's get started. Okay, so as of recently, I do have allergies. I feel like spring, spring, fall all allergies have come in a little sooner than expected. Um, so yeah, my nose is a little red. But nonetheless, so I have been doing like quick makeup because I've, here and there, I've had times where it's like, hey, Vanessa, like, do you want to go do this? Do you want to go do that? Like, out of nowhere, out of the blue. And I was like, sure, let me just quickly put myself together. So this is what I've been kind of leaning towards, and I figured I'd show you guys. So I've been using the Milk Makeup and the Kosas Concealer, these two, and kind of just mixing them. One's a little lighter than the other. Um, this one's in the color Light Sand, and Kosas in the color 6.2N. Um, so basically what I've been doing is just kind of grabbing the Kosas one, um, really doesn't matter which order you do it, but just kind of p brightening the under eye really and putting some on top like that. And then taking the lighter one and just making, making, well, I can't talk, <laughs> mixing them. Um, so just kind of going like that. First, I've been going in with my finger and just kind of warming that product onto the skin and just tapping it. Then I've been going in with a wet sponge and just tapping that over to make sure everything's like nicely incorporated into the skin. Now I have been having a little bit of breakouts, but it is what it is. Um, again, just tapping gently and mixing those two products. So next, what I've done, I with the Kosas one, it is a little closer to like just my skin tone as opposed to like a brightening concealer. So I'm taking some of this to kind of cover up my breakouts that I'm having. And right here, this is a hive right now that you see. So I'm just gonna cover that. I don't know if this is gonna do anything. Again, going in with the finger first, and then we'll go over it with a sponge. Okay, so next I've been taking the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil Powder. It looks like this. And a loose kind of brush, it's like a shader brush, it's from Moda. It is the... M16 brush and I just take some of this loose powder like setting powder and set the under eyes as well as the eyelids where I put the concealer just like lightly to reduce any creasing and before this I obviously prime my face with moisturizer make sure that my skin was nicely hydrated like that. I'm gonna take a little bit more as well. And I've been doing like kind of just blurring out my pores here, like in this area. A little bit on the nose as well. And wherever else I put that concealer, although you don't really need much because we're gonna go in with a powder. All right, so for that, we're gonna keep it simple. I'm just gonna go in with a brown liner. This is my go-to Marc Jacobs gel kind of truffled liner and a angled brush that I'm gonna to use to smudge out that liner. So I'm just gonna go in on top of the waterline. Well, first on the waterline on the top, but then also on top, if that makes any sense. Now I'm just taking the angled brush and kind of just smudging that along the lash line to smooth out that liner. I kind of push, but also kind of downwards towards the lash line, just to create a nice little tight line. Like so. Again, very super subtle. Using the same liner, I'm just gonna do the same thing on the bottom. 
And again, just kind of bringing it halfway. All right, now I'm gonna take a lash curler and I'm just going to curl the lashes. Wrapped for mascara. Grabbing the ColourPop Brow Boss, I'm just gonna quickly brush my eyebrows kind of like in place and maybe add a little bit more shape to them. This is in the color brown. I think it's brown. Brunette. Brunette, it's colored brunette. And just filling in some of those areas that I have a little bit more sparse spaces. Okay. Now, here's what I've been doing. So I've been gravitating, I've been grabbing, again, this is what I use more so in the summer when my face is a little bit more moisturized by just the air. This past month of August, it's been kind of really dry, but also we've had this past week lots of rain, so there's been more moisture in the air. So I went and I've been using my Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation Powder. This is in the color Medium Beige, if you can see there. And I'm gonna grab some of this on a kind of like kabuki type brush. Just gonna press that in lightly and lightly press it on the face to kind of give me some light coverage. Let's finish off the eyes. So grabbing the smallest amount of highlighter, I'm gonna go in with the Becca Rose Gold Highlighter. If I can open it. Looks like this. And we're just gonna grab a tiny bit on a small little accent brush. And I'm just gonna put that on the co inner corner of the eye. The smallest amount is what I've been doing. And we're gonna finish off the eyes. So I already curled the lashes and I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Curl Bounce. I have been using this. It gives me what I realize like really individualized long lashes. So it doesn't really give you volume, but it does lengthen those lashes. So that's why I've been gravitating it. It kind of gives you that clean look, uh, nothing too bulky or kind of chunky. So I'm just gonna layer this. And before it dries, any type of like chunk that I might have, even the slightest bit, I go with my finger and just kind of press it upwards and try to take that off. It just makes it look a little more natural. For my lips, I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna grab the NYX NYX lip pencil in the color Peekaboo Neutral. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner. So we're just gonna Line the lips and fill them in. And I'm just taking some of my Ilia B Lila B lip gloss just to add a little moisture to the lips, not so much gloss. And just like mix that lip liner nice into the lips. That concludes if you want now of course if you're going to go out and you want want this to last obviously it's very light-handed very natural like i said before go put on some setting spray and it'll last definitely a lot longer um right now i left my setting spray elsewhere so i won't be putting any on but that's it this is pretty kind of simple easy to do kind of just makes you look a little bit more put together more awake and you can be ready to go on with your day so if you have any questions regarding process procedures feel free to let me know in the comment section below and i'll get to you there if you haven't already remember subscribe join my team i'd love for you to be here if you have any other products that you'd like to see me try i can certainly try to consider buying them and trying them for you let you know how it goes and i think that's it i hope that you guys have a beautiful rest of your day and that you guys come back for more Ciao.